everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes, another three-day training camp, and we're gonna look at kind of some key tweaks start to finish. Devin Martin, he had come in, and we were looking at a few things. When we did day one, we're, like you said, we've talked about before with the throwing chain reaction, we're gonna plug every athlete in. We're gonna evaluate and go through their progression. So first thing that we taught him, he was too far forward in his throw, which is gonna make the reverse and the efficiency of the finish compromise. Second thing we look at is how we move into that. We're adjusting things like the rewrap and then when we went to the full throw we're looking at the sweep action and how he's setting up his chain reaction so the key thing here was that he tended to be too far, far forward the rewrap was lacking somewhat and he would shift and so we were trying to show him how that timing would work and how that would change and that was a really key thing and this was a good example with that rewrap he's too active with the upper body and that had to tie into his sweep leg issue and that was something that we figured out all these things in day one so then as we plug him through his six pillars in day two we would start to apply the fixes and the changes I, I know. that was a lot better not bad as we start day two, we're immediately gonna be focusing on how he's gonna be loading the delivery leg and being able to rotate and move into the finish much more effectively. We're gonna slow things down. We're gonna be more mechanical. We're teaching him how to stay longer and connect to the shot. You can see he's still kind of going a little too far forward and coming over the board. So we did some preloaded throws. So this is where we're gonna have the knees and hips preloaded into the direction of the finish. And what we're gonna do is show him how to move the hip in time to get the lower body just that little bit ahead feel the block and apply so that he's extending to the board without coming out but you're going to see in this video he kept coming out so then the next thing we're going to do is obviously we're going to be putting those things together moving into the middle of the ring and stepping in we like to do step-ins it's a very deliberate movement it's kind of like a choppy or south african in the sense that we're going to really walk and emphasize how to get the hip ahead at this point here we're able to start looking at how he's activating the shoulder and the sweep and how that's leading to him turning the upper body too quickly ahead and that's why you're going to kind of notice that his hips are going to kind of break shift and that's what's causing a lot of that shift to go forward so this was a big movement day oh, that looks pretty good day three we're gonna try to say we've got a ton to work on he's got to go home what's the game plan and we're gonna put some final touches on the things that we address on day two and the mechanical day and then we make it super rhythmical we want to focus on the rhythm put it together make it fluid so that he can feel the difference think about less and apply and that's the big difference here is that on day two we're really being mechanical day three again we're really trying to include that more smooth fluid motion and so you're gonna see See, he's starting to move you're gonna see that upper body kind of rolling again that has to do partially with his sweep and a combination of how he's holding the left arm so let's take a look at how it went over the course of three days you can again notice these subtle little changes you're gonna notice that when he starts he's gonna be creating a little bit different position and in the mechanical day and the rhythmical day because we were addressing the issues we're seeing a lot more closer similarities so as we break down the six pillars you're gonna see these slight little shifts as he comes from here now he's starting to attack his sprint so he here you're going to notice the subtlety of the block leg it's a little closer it's getting down a little faster and just allowing him to stay back and kind of square up and get into the throw a little bit better and again you notice the difference especially between day one and day three there was good differences but he did a very nice job of applying changes in the second day mechanically and trying to put him together on the third day and truth be told he was smoked we had done several hours of training each day and he was dead and he did a great job on that final thing so if you guys would like to know more about how we kind of take a throw, break it down, find the issues, figure out the formula that works best for you using the Throwing Chain Reaction System, be sure to click the link in the bio or in the description, and we will see you on the next video.